Good morning, students, and welcome to today's class. So, in the last class, we finished with the chapter data handling. Correct. So, with uh, this chapter, we finished the portions for your first semester. Today's class, what we'll do is we'll start revising what we have learned in in the first semester portion. So, first, what we'll do we'll revise data handling, which we have learned in the last class. So, we'll solve one or two worksheets also on data handling. So you can have a quick revision on what you all have learned. Okay, so what is data handling? It is nothing but it's a means to gather and record information and then presenting it in a way that is meaningful to others. So when you want some information, you gather the information, correct? Then when you present it in a meaningful way, means in the form of graphs, okay, or tables, then that is called as presenting the data in a meaningful way okay so this is data handling all right so it is nothing but the it means gathering and recording information and then presenting it in a way which is meaningful to others okay then we saw what are pictograph so pictograph is a tool which is used to represent numbers or data using pictures Okay, so pictographs helps you to represent numbers or any kind of information or data using pictures. Okay, so this is one example of a pictograph. So this is how a pictograph will look. So here in the first column of the table, they've given you different flavors of ice cream. And here in the second, they've shown you pictures of ice cream telling how many people like which flavor. So vanilla, three people like vanilla flavor, chocolate seven people like chocolate strawberry five people like chocolate sorry strawberry uh four of them like pineapple and one likes peach correct so this is how a pictograph looks like pictograph is also called as a pictogram okay so based on a given pictograph they'll ask you questions and you have to answer the questions okay so here this shows the number of boys and girls in a class and here they have given you a key. What does this key state? This one boy, one picture of a boy represents five boys. So if you want to count the total number of boys in the class, you have to count it as five plus five plus five. That is 15. Or there are three boys here and one boy shows five boys, right? So five into three if you do 15. Okay, same way for girls. So one picture of girls stands for five girls. So number of girls will be five into three, 15. So, total number of boys and girls in class is 15 plus 15, 30. So, this way you have to answer questions given. So, we solved this well last time, right? So, here we saw the number of vegetables and we answered the questions on this. So, how many tomatoes are there? How many tomatoes are shown here? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, there are 4 tomatoes. Then, which kind of vegetable is maximum in number? Which do you think has maximum? You have to count. So, we have potato which has maximum with 7. Okay. So, which kind of vegetable is minimum in number? So, which is a less number? Capsicum. Correct. So, 1, 2, 3. And then what is the total number of vegetables? So, you have to count all the vegetables together to see what is the total number. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 and 25. Okay, so there are total 25 vegetables. Or what you can do, you can add the number of tomatoes 4 plus number of capsicum 3 plus carrot 6, mushroom plus 5 and potato plus 7. So 4 plus 3 plus 6 plus 5 plus 7 gives you 20. Five, which is the total number of vegetables okay then we saw another uh, pictogram here uh, one they're telling one tree represent 10 trees that is one picture of a tree shows 10 trees okay so here they've given you names and number of trees so let's form a few questions now i'll ask you how many apples are there apple trees are there how many apple trees are there here 1, 2, 3 and as we know each one represents 10 trees. So that will be 10 into 3, 30. So apple tree, trees are 30 in number. Then I'll ask you how many Gava and 
पेर ट्रीज आर देर टू गेदर इन टोटल ओके हमनी गावा एंड पेर ट्रीज आर देर इन टोटल सो वी हैव फर्स्ट लेट्स काउंट द ट्रीज वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव गावा ट्रीज एंड पेर वी हैव टू दैट इज फाइव प्लस टू सेवन एंड सेवन इंटू टेन इज सेवेंटी सो वी हैव सेवेंटी गावा एट पेर ट्रीज टू गेदर ओके देन हाउ मेनी पीच ट्रीज आर देर सो हाउ मेनी पीच ट्रीज आर देर वन टू थ्री फोर इंटू टेन फोर्टी देर आर फोर्टी पीच ट्रीज ना इफ यू हैव टू फाइंड द टोटल नंबर ऑफ ट्रीज हाउ विल यू फाइंड सो विल एट द नंबर ऑफ एप्पल ट्रीज वी फाउंड द नंबर ऑफ एप्पल ट्रीज इट वॉज थर्टी करेक्ट देन प्लस नंबर ऑफ पीच ट्रीज इट वॉज फोर्टी सो थर्टी प्लस फोर्टी देन वी हैव गावा एंड पेर टूगेदर वी कैलकुलेटेड विच इज सेवेंटी करेक्ट Forty plus thirty plus seventy. That is one hundred and forty. Okay, so we have one hundred and forty trees to gather. So this is basically how you read a pictogram. So let's solve a few questions on that. Okay, so here is a worksheet on pictogram. So let's read the question that they have told. So it was a lo lovely Sunday afternoon. Tiffany and her friends Rick, Mindy, and Matt spend the day on the beach. So Tiffany and her three friends Rick, Mindy, and Matt spend the day on the beach on a Sunday. So they built sand castles and connected she shells. Okay, the pictograph below shows the number of she shells collected by each person. Use the pictograph to answer the questions. Okay, here the pictograph and here they have given the name of all of them. Okay, that's Tiffany, Rick, Mindy, and Matt. Then here they have given you the number of she shells, correct? So the and how many each have collected? So here is the key. One picture of a she shell represent four. Okay. So let's answer these questions. How many she shells did Rick collect? So Rick is here. Now how many did he collect? We have one. Two, three, four, five. But we know that one picture represent four she cells, correct? So we'll have five into four, twenty. So uh, Rick three Rick collected twenty she cells. Okay. Next question: Who collected less than twenty she cells? So for that you have to look overall how many uh, they have collected. Okay. So, who collected less than twenty she shells? Now we know that Rick has collected twenty. So it is not less than twenty; it is exactly twenty. Now let's look at others. So Tiffany, how many has she collected? She has one, two, three, four, five, six. So six into four is how much? It is twenty-four. So it is more than twenty. That Mindy, Mindy has how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven into four, twenty-eight. So even she has more than twenty she shells. Then last, Matt. One, two, three. How much is three into four? Three fours are is twelve. So who collected less than uh twenty she shells? It is Matt. Okay. So first answer is twenty. The second one is Matt. Then. How many she shells did they collect all together? So how many did Tiffany collect? She has uh one two three four five six into four twenty four correct. Then Rick, we know that he has collected twenty. Then Mindy has how many? Seven into four twenty eight. So she's collected twenty eight. And what about Matt? Matt has how many? He has three into four twelve. So how much is the total here? Twenty four plus twenty. Plus twenty eight plus twelve. So calculate the answer here. What will you all get? So all of them together have collected eighty four C cells. Okay, twenty four plus twenty plus twenty eight plus twelve is eighty four. So together they have eighty four C cells. Then how many more C cells did Mindy collect than Matt? So how many Mindy has? Mindy has twenty eight and Matt has how many? Matt has twelve. So to see how many Mindy collected more than Matt, what you will do? We will do twenty-eight minus twelve, which is sixteen. Okay, so she has sixteen more than Matt. Then how many she shells did Tiffany and Rick collect all together? 
so how many did tiffany collect she collected 24 and rick collected how many he collected 20 so together they collected 44 seashells all right so this is how you read a pictograph so this was one worksheet now what we'll do is uh, we'll solve a few questions based on what we did in your textbook and then we'll move on to another worksheet okay so here first they have asked count the number of letters in each of the following and fill in the boxes so bugs bunny how many letters does bugs bunny have we have one two three four five six seven eight nine correct bugs bunny has nine letters then mickey mouse how many letters does mickey mouse have he has one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven mickey mouse has eleven letters then donald duck how many letters does donald duck have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so donald duck has ten letters then what about Tom and Jerry? Tom and Jerry 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Tom and Jerry has 11 letters. Okay, so let's see if our answers are correct. So all our answers are right. Or correct? So now what we'll do? We'll move on to the next one. So here they are told this pictograph shows how many students had ice cream, how many had fruit and how many had fruit juice. Study the pictograph and fill in the boxes with the correct numeral. So this is the pictograph and one image of a boy stands for one student. So how many students had ice cream? Let's count. So this is where it shows ice cream. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Correct. So 6 students had ice cream. The number of students who had fruit salad. Fruit salad is over here. How many had fruit salad? 1, 2, 3. Three students had fruit salad. So, we'll write three here. Correct? See, our answers are right. Right. So, ice cream, six students had. And fruit salad, three students had. Okay, the next question. In this pictograph, tells how many storybooks each child has. Study the pictograph and fill in the boxes with the correct numeral. So, this is the pictograph and each book shows stands for two story books right so amar has so many bal and chetan so let's see what are the question who has the least number of story books who has the least number and if you see amar has one two so that is two and two one book stands for two story books we know that so two plus two four amar has four then chetan has six so amar is the least one so who has the least number of story books it is Amar. Okay, and how many story books does Bal have? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, pictures are 5. So, and each book stands for 2 story books. So, 5 into 2, 10. So, he has 10 story books. Okay, so Amar. Uh, least number of story books is Amar. And how many books does Bal have? He has 10 books. Now, how many books does Chetan have? He has 1, 2, 3 into 2, 6 books. Okay. Then, pictograph shows how many vehicles uh, passed a particular spot on a road in 10 minutes. So, study the pictograph and fill in the boxes with the correct answers. So, cars, buses and bicycles. Each car stands, each picture of a car stands for 2 cars. This shows 2 buses and this one bicycle stands for Two bicycles. So how many cars pass the spot? How many cars? So we have three here. One, two, three into two will be how many? Will be six. So six cars pass the spot. And how many bicycles? We have one, two, three, four, five. So that is two into five, ten bicycles. Then buses, one, two, three. So sorry, the next question is how many vehicles passed by? So total number of vehicles. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 into 2 is how much? It is 22. So, 22 bicycles. Okay. So, that's not 22. Uh, let's check again. Okay. So, we have 6 cars. Then we have 6 buses. And we have uh, 10 
y cycles correct so that is 20 okay it is 20 the answer is 20 so this is how you do pictograph so let's uh, do revision using one more worksheets and then we can finish this class okay so here we have the pictograph represents number of toys owned by five students see the picture see the pictograph to answer this question how many toys does saroj have okay so this one uh, picture of this toy represents 10 toys so they are asking how many toys does saroj have well Sar saroj is here so she has 1 2 3 that is 3 into 10 30 toys so answer here is 30 so b 30 okay so saroj has 30 toys and then this pictograph shows the number of students in each class see the pictograph to answer this question how many students are there all together okay so we'll do this one by one so first of all in grade one how many students are there and one uh, picture of the students represents 10 students okay so in grade one how many students are there now we have one two three so that is 10 into sorry 3 into 10 30 so grade 1 has 30 students then what about grade 2 grade 2 has 1 2 3 4 into 10 40 students then grade 3 has how many grade 3 has 5 into 10 50 and grade 4 has 2 into 10 20 students so what will be the total number of students it will be 30 plus 40 plus 50 plus 20 that is 70, 70 plus 50, 120 and 120 plus 20, 140. Okay, so the total number of students all together are 140. Alright, then. Okay, we have done this right with trees. So, we will do it once again. The pictograph shows the number of different trees in a farm. See the pictograph to answer this questions how many peach trees are there in the farm so one tree represent 10 trees so peach tree so we have apple peach guava and pear so they have asked how many peach trees are there in the farm so we have 1 2 3 4 4 into 10 40 so peach trees are 40 okay then the pictograph represents the number of toys owned by five students so this is the same pictograph as the question one see the pictograph to answer this question how many more toys does lily have than atul does okay so how many toys does lily have lily has uh, 4 into 10 40 toys correct so lily see here 1 2 3 4 and each represents 10 toys so 4 into 10 40 and how many toys does atul have atul has 20 toys so how many toys does Lily have more than Atul? It will be 40 minus 20 which is equal to 20. So here the answer is 20 that is option D. Then last question. This pictograph shows the number of different fruit trees in a farm. So how many more Gava trees are there than apple trees? Okay so how many Gava trees are there? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 into 10, 50 Gava trees. And how many apple trees are there? Apple trees are 3 into 10, 30. So how many more gava trees are there than apple? That will be 50 minus 30 equals to 20. Okay, so there are 20 gava trees more than apple trees. So this is a small worksheet based on pictograph or data handling. Okay, so this was a quick revision on the last chapter that was data handling all right so we'll continue further in the next class thank you students